Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's do an afternoon update. I'm liking these as of late. Good chance to kind of look at the new trends. What's the what's the new data showing in the afternoon? Um, first stop up the Aspen Mountain where the snow is coming down. They haven't picked up a lot, but there's some on the way. Obviously, there's more on the way. Um, when I think of Colorado and where I think the most snow will fall over the next, I don't know, seven, eight days, nine days, I like Aspen. I like Crested Butte. I like uh, Steamboat, I like Vail to some degree, I like Red Mountain, Purgatory, Telluride, Silverton, and Wolf Creek. Outside of Colorado, Wasatch, Sierra, around Sun Valley, Tetons, Pacific Northwest, Interior BC. Those will be my bullseyes. Um, so let's look at the data. What am I seeing this afternoon? What are the trends? Well, I'm noticing a couple things. And let me go back to this because it's going to help me tell the story. We, the strength of the atmospheric river appears to be trending stronger, more intense, on 1230, 31, early 1. Could be strong. Th triple head, triple prong right there. Um, the second thing I'm noticing, and why is that important? Because it affects the snow. It affects the snow downstream. In Colorado, in Utah, it affects the totals in Wyoming, in New Mexico, in Arizona, in Idaho. All those areas downstream are affected by the strength and the wobbling of this intensity. The second thing I'm noticing is that it could be trending weaker on two, three, four, five, six. If that happens, then the numbers go down over that period, especially downstream. But there could be another storm on five, six, seven, eight. Don't know yet. But overall, the two things could be trending stronger, 30, 31, trending weaker, two, three, four, five, six. That's just what I'm seeing this afternoon. Um, I did write about this on my blog, Atmospheric River through 1.6 this morning, ChrisTomer.com. Take a look. Beautiful sunrise view from Palisades, Tahoe, in between storm systems. You've got another one coming. Um, there's my video from this morning, and there's the pattern. And this leads me into, um, and I'll just go back to my bullet points, the atmospheric river running through 1.6, but it could be 7.8. And here's the evidence for that. Look at the jet stream on 1.6. Still intact. West to east conveyor belt of moisture still transporting doing its thing. So it stands to reason we could have additional waves of moisture riding this into 1.7 and 1.8. So that's a possibility. Um, let's look at timing. Future radar satellite. There we go. Thursday 6 a.m. Next wave hits California. Friday at 6 a.m. moves into the interior. Another one behind that for Saturday. Um, and then that moves into the interior. And here's where things are a little bit questionable. How strong is this wave? Two, three, four, five, six. Um, how intact is it? What's the intensity of the river when it comes in at this point? So that there's some uncertainty there on two, three, four, five, six. Um, I want to go into totals. Those are my totals from this morning. Let me show you my totals this afternoon. Um, you'll notice I added the Arizona Snow Bowl on here. So that is now on that is now on my map. I had a couple of requests from that. In fact, um, let me take you back to where those requests just brief, show you briefly where they came in on my blog post from yesterday. Um, down at the bottom had a request from Linda Johnston for Arizona Snowball. Um, Brian also chiming in. Um, it wasn't on my map yet, but I can tell <laughs> just reading Brian's comment. Um, he's not happy. But um, I added Snowball onto my map for today. So Brian, take a look. It is now in the forecast. Um, there's 1228 through 1230. Um, another, so all the rest of today, obviously it's now 3 p.m. So the remainder of today through 12:30, nine to 10 more inches in the Wasatch, um, three to eight in Colorado. Most of that being across the western slope in the San Juans. Um, another six to seven in the Tetons. Another foot through the Sierra. All right, here's the latter period: 12:31 through 1:6. Um, big numbers. Another 30 to 80. Potentially, that might be a little high for Tahoe, but 30 to 80 in the Sierra. Another 45 in the Wasatch. This is what I'm talking about. So those numbers in the 
Tahoe numbers have gone up, the Wasatch numbers have gone down. That is directly related to what I was talking about earlier with that ladder storm, two, three, four, five, six being weaker. It affects the downstream numbers. Now it's possible, you know, those numbers could go back up, but I brought them down a little bit, uh, a couple of feet up in the Tetons. The numbers in Colorado got, went down just a touch as well. Um, you can see the bigger numbers are all across the western slope and down through southwest Colorado. So what happens with the river directly affects everything downstream. A couple of feet through Sun Valley, I really like that. And the Pacific Northwest, one to two feet up there. Um, we'll end on the northeast. Again, nothing huge here, but some wraparound snow possible, especially northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, northern Maine, 1229 through 16. All right, guys, there we go. That's the afternoon update. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning with another update and the blog as well. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here. Take care.